this is the motion to suppress stage. So if we are arguing to the court that something happened that was illegal in your case, that they illegally got your statement or they illegally seized you, searched you, took property, a search and seizure, we're filing a motion with the court and then the court will set up for a hearing where the prosecutor will call witnesses and then we cross-examine those witnesses. The prosecutor will do a direct examination of the witnesses, maybe even provide, provide some exhibits. The court will then issue a ruling or sometimes it allows us to write a brief, like a memo, and then we write the memo, the court then will review the memos and then issue a ruling at a much later date. If the court grants our motion to suppress, that's usually a good thing for your case, otherwise we wouldn't file it. And if it doesn't grant it, that's usually not a good thing for your case. So this is the stage that we call the motion to suppress stage.